The government sector has been evolving fast in the past few years, and today I'm joined by Serge Anatkas from Red Mouse to talk about changes in the government sector. Serge, and you are no stranger to working in the world of government. You've even won innovation awards, both in government and for hospitality as well. You even won last night at the 2025 Innovation Awards. So it's safe to say that you know your stuff when it comes to these markets. Um, could you tell me about the challenges in the past few years in the government market? We saw a great amount of change in the way that people work and a shift in culture that affected government organizations as well. What effect has that had on the technologies that you are specifying for the government sector? Yeah, thank you very much for having me, first of all, and uh, thank you for all the kind words. Uh, I believe the government sector also has been affected uh, by the uh, pandemic, let's say, and after pandemic, uh, the commercial market has been affected and it has direct effect to the government uh, spaces like hybrid solutions and in terms of security also. Uh, so uh, the point that I can make can be the uh, security issue. So at that part, uh, I guess uh, the first thing, the data security is very important uh, in terms of uh, the collaboration with the government, I guess uh, this is the first thing that I can point out. Mm. And it's very interesting you make that point about security because we're living in a very insecure period right now. It seems every other day in the news you'll see stories about government hacks or targeted attacks from on government facilities from both state actors and non-state actors as well. That's a huge responsibility for a systems integrator. So how do you stay ahead of the curve when it comes to security challenges and the potential uh, issues and weak spots that some products might have in our ecosystem? We first try to understand what are the expectations of the government officials uh, in terms of uh, technical uh, requests. And then uh, we are trying to meet them day by day uh, when the project is proceeding. Of course, they have their own security issues, some regulations that we don't even know about uh, when the project is ongoing, uh, some random checks, uh, some security measures that they don't want to share with us or uh, any other third party. Uh, so as much as we can, we are trying to meet their expectations. But knowing their expectations before is a huge advantage and uh, working locally with governments uh, for a long time uh, even uh, makes a bigger advantage for us. So we uh, know what to expect from them and we are trying to overcome that uh, security issue by using the technology, future-proof and scalable technology uh, that we think it will meet their expectations. And that must be exceptionally difficult too because these threats are ever-changing and ever-evolving so you must be constantly vigilant and keeping an eye on new protocols and new safety features to stay ahead of the game there. Yeah, 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 yeah. totally, yeah. totally, yes. How do you see uh, the world of government evolving in terms of technology now because we're moving into a hybrid era. A lot of government facilities have embraced hybrid working in a big way. How do you see the market evolving in the next few years and what does that mean for you as an integrator? Uh, for the government business, I think uh, it will not be uh, as fast paced as the other vertical markets because uh, in, for governments, especially when it's uh, presidency or uh, ministry or parliament, they still want to continue with uh, the existing working technology Sometimes they don't even want to go from an analog mixer to a digital mixer. So they don't want to touch uh, mostly what is working and what they know uh, is uh, already secure and uh, working for them. So I guess uh, it will be a slower pace for the government business uh, to change for the future. And do you think that education for government clients is a key part of your business moving forward, especially when you are specifying new technologies or ways of overhauling their work practices? Yes, yes, because uh, as we all know, the meetings and, uh, and the uh, parliament places, the meetings are taking place. It's very important, hugely critical. They are risky places. There is no room for error. 
so the people who are uh, managing this system uh, should know uh, very well how the system is working. They should keep pace with the technology. So we are trying to, as much as we can, uh, train those uh, people there. Uh, and uh, what we see, of course, in uh, many government places, always the same people continue for years, especially within the countries that we work. Uh, the same people even retire from the same position because they are already trustable, they know the system. Uh, so I can say that, yeah. Absolutely. Serjan, thank you so much for your insight. And of course, once again, congratulations on the win at the Innovation Awards thank you, last thank night. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.